Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. My friends at New Craft Day reached out to me and wanted to send me some fun things to try out. And today we're going to work on this Flamingo Diamond Painting Box. Isn't it cool? I absolutely love it. So I've already taken it out of its wrapping and it has a film on here where you can peel it off and expose the glue that's underneath there. That's how the diamonds stay on. Now as we open up the box we'll find that it has two compartments and here's all the things I need to put this together. There's all the little diamonds, the sequins, my pen, the container to put them in, and wax. I'm going to open this up. Let's look at all the pretty colors. So if you're interested in any diamond painting from New Craft Day, I will leave information down in the comment section below. Or you can uh, go check them out. And I'll also leave the coupon code. Look at all these really pretty colors. Pinks and purples. Blues. Greens. Looks like silver. Clear. So open this container. So for those of you who know nothing about diamond painting, you have your project with the glue and these little numbers. Some of them are bigger. There's numbers, letters, and different symbols. And you just match, like, um, here's an F. So I'm going to come over here. If I can find F. Right here is F. So I'm going to take these out. In fact, I'll do that first. Let me find a pair of scissors. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to pour all my little diamonds in this green container. Is that all of them? You don't usually use them all. You usually have quite a bit left over. And then you shake this. And see how they all flipped over? The little ones flip over a lot easier. So then you take your pen and your wax. And you gotta, there's a, a film on this. So you gotta make sure you peel that back. I know my sister has been doing some diamond painting and she neglected, <laughs> she didn't see the film on there, didn't peel it back. And she's like, I can't get the wax on there. Well, you have to peel this back first. And then you just put it, put the pin in there and then you'll have some wax in there. And it makes it easy to pick up your little diamonds and then you put them where they're supposed to go. Like so. Now I got all my F's on there. I just put them back in there and then I'm going to tape them closed and get out the next color which I think I'm going to do D next.
Now, if you're doing your diamond painting and you want to take a break, make sure you put the film back over it. Since that is glue, you don't want any dust or anything to get on to the sticky part. So that just protects it until you want to come back and finish it up. All right, I'm almost done with this. I've been working on this in less than two hours. <laughs> I probably would have broken this up into a couple of settings, but I wanted to see how long it actually took me, and the kids are down for a nap. So I thought this was a perfect time to go ahead and time myself. All I have left are the ones. So I'm going to cut this. Pour my beads in there and shake them around. I still have a lot of wax left. Need to load up my pin here. And let me finish the ones. I'm all done and I think it took me just under like a few minutes under two hours to complete this whole thing now I did have to go back as I was uh, doing the numbers I tried to do them all like all the fives at once and then all the ones and I noticed I had missed some so I had to go back and fill them in but I still have a lot of diamonds left so you don't have to worry about running out and you know I've actually used these leftovers in jewelry prod projects so there's all kinds of different crafts you can use these leftover beads for or leftover diamonds for this is a nice little box to put stuff in it's got two little compartments You could store your little diamonds and stuff like that in there, or jewelry for travel, or whatever. Anyway, I want to thank my friends at New Craft Day for sending me this beautiful piece. I really like it a lot. And stay tuned for other diamond painting projects. I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can click on one of my diamond projects. And thanks for joining me today. Have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.